Now is promised time to announce the 2023 tree farmers, plural, of the year. They are a very special husband and wife, different from each other in a lot of ways, yet similar in the most important ways. Zach and I were treated to a tour of their beautiful tree farm recently, an example of what makes Mississippi so gorgeous. Here's Zach's story about Jesse and Penny Purvis. I've been involved in it one way or another my whole life. That pretty much sums up the professional life of Jesse Purvis. One way or another, every job he's worked, every customer he's served, everything he's learned directly or indirectly has helped him become the tree farmer he is today. With Penny, his wife of 45 years by his side, together they lovingly care for each other and their 300 acre tree farm in Rankin County, Mississippi. It's as much a peaceful getaway as it is a revenue producer, made all the more peaceful and profitable by their combined discipline and attention to detail. I, I enjoy being in the woods, hunting, fishing, all that kind of stuff to go with it. But at the same time, uh, long-term plan was to try to have something that would also add to our retirement income. Uh, so the timber piece of it would do that and especially as I acquired these properties and started planning, I, I got involved with having a consulting forester and we did things uh, either clearing and planting or uh, control burns or sprays or whatever. Tried to enhance the wildlife but also make sure it produced some future income for us. I am so proud of it and I think I'm more proud of it because I'm so proud of what Jesse has done to piece it all together with a, a number of acquis acquisitions to come to this acreage that we have. I'm so proud that he built the cabin because you come out here and it's quiet, but then at night you can hear the coyotes sometimes or you can hear the owls hooting and you'd hear the frogs and you'd hear the birds singing and you'd get out and walk and the rabbits would be scampering. And so it's just my place to come and just kind of regroup a little bit. The place, as they call it, is their well-groomed pride and joy, the result of their two decades of hard work and relationship building. It's also the result of Jesse's continuous learning. A graduate of Mississippi State in ag economics, he lit the fuse on his career 35 years ago when he took his college diploma one day and started as a loan officer at Federal Land Bank the next. Roughly half of our portfolio was timberland. Some of it was multi-thousand acre tracks, some of it was 20, 30 acre tracks. Had full-time farmers, part-time farmers, business people that owned little land, places like this out in the country. So we had a lot of timber involved in what we did. The land bank trained all of us to do some timber evaluation and recognize a lot of the difference. They, you know, some people, they can't hardly tell the difference between a pine and a sweet gum. Well, we learned all that. Jesse and Penny make an unusual couple. She is an artist and taught art for 20 years, eventually teaching gifted third graders. Needless to say, Jesse is a numbers man, far more analytical. On the other hand, they approach the foundational side of their personal and work lives literally hand in hand. That has allowed them to make solid decisions where their tree farm is concerned. And they were smart enough to brainstorm with some experts along the way. One of them said Jesse was so knowledgeable, he could be a consulting forester himself. If you were to visit the farm, chances are Jesse and Penny would give you the royal treatment. They would eagerly give them a tour and start educating them because Jesse is a wealth of information. He, he can show you exactly what he did right or wrong. and. Uh, it's like a showcase out here. Um, tell them, get a forestry consultant. Come to the Rankin County, your county, whichever county you live in, the county association, forestry association meetings. Uh, you become educated, they feed you. You talk to other landowners just like yourself. Y'all, they can ask questions and it's just get them pointed in the right direction. Jesse and I uh, worked together for years and years, since in the early 90s and he's been such a great influence on my career. 
I learned a lot from him and because uh, he's an appraiser, he knows a lot about forestry, that as a forester, I really wasn't that strong in those areas. So he changed how I thought about forestry and the investment of forestry. Jesse's done a lot of work on the farm. This part of the property was pretty rough in the late 90s. Jesse and company harvested enough timber from it to pay for a dozer operator to come in and shape things up. Between that, a QVM spraying after a thinning, and a controlled burn after that, it's an entirely different piece of land now. Here, at a low water crossing, Jesse built up under it with concrete pads from the old chicken farm that used to be here. He also brought in a sturdy cattle gap, sturdy enough that heavy equipment can drive over it. The result, far fewer clogs. Do you think we'll see the alligator today? I don't know, I hadn't seen her in the last week or two, but you know. And speaking of water, Jesse's careful to preserve ponds on the farm. One of them is home to wildlife you might expect further south, an alligator that shows up from time to time. And here, one of three creeks that eventually lead to the city of Jackson's water supply runs near the farm's cabin and is watched carefully. Another pond out front is one of the farm's more scenic areas. Overall, the Purvis tree farm doesn't have a lot of hills and valleys, but it is home to a mix of trees that will eventually make for a solid harvest. It's a mix that Jesse's especially fond of, compared to what it looked like years ago in the middle of a clear cut. I thought I would just take and knock it down and plant pines, and when I got to looking, man, what was regenerating was the good prime species of hardwood, so I left it. And now it's getting big enough, I can see through it, the deer and the turkeys really like it in there. And uh, it, it's gonna be good going on. Jesse is a lifelong learner and a relationship builder. He's particularly proud of his relationships with extension agents. Yeah, I've been involved with the Mississippi State folks for years. And uh, even before that, when I was with Land Bank, it wasn't forestry, but the extension agent in each county as I moved around with Land Bank, that's one of my best contacts. If I needed to learn who in various counties, potential customers, existing customers, who other people was that I needed to know or do business with, that's the best source of information I could have. And if I needed to sponsor a meal to do some kind of information meeting, usually the county agent was the cooker. You know, he cooked the meal for me. So I go way back with them. Bottom line, say Jesse and Penny, the tree farm has been a true gift. They're grateful for its beauty and the way it provides a living. If she has any regrets, says Penny, it's that her father, who passed away before they purchased the farm, never got a chance to see it. I guess that's the one disappointment about it, is that I wish Daddy could have seen it. He would have been so proud for us, so pleased for us, and he would have loved coming here. What a fabulous couple. Congratulations to Jesse and Penny Purvis.